Uh, well, in this video, we are going to describe about uh, SQL functions. And the first thing that we want to find out, why do you need uh, SQL functions? Right? So the first question is, uh, why uh, we need SQL function? So to get those things, let's uh, try to see uh, like you know, what we have and then what we need. Okay. So here is my SQL prompt and say I have, uh, I want to do select enum comma cell from emp so these are my data sets and then let's just uh, take this thing in my notate okay oh, it didn't work out So these are my data sets. Uh, what we have is if I do a query, I select uh, enum, comma, sal from EMP, then I am getting uh, this many number of rows. I asked question, one question. Question number one, can you, uh, for a report, can you print the employee name in lowercase? How do I get employee name in lowercase? Question number two, I ask you, this salary 5,000, right? I don't understand this 5,000 rupees or this 5,000 dollar or 5,000 pound or what kind of thing it is, right? Can you format me the salary column, the salary appropriately, either in dollar or in pound or whatever? Question number three, I ask you, we are seeing salary, there are 14 rows, the 14 salaries are there. The question number three is, what is the maximum salary? Here, out of this 14, tell me the maximum salary. So, how do I figure it out? Okay, so if you are uh, aware of with any languages like C, Java or any other language, these are nothing but routine tasks. I want to find out a maximum, I want to find out a minimum, I want to lower the case, I want to get a format and all this thing. So these are basically in any other language we get some kind of libraries or some kind of functions which does this routine work. Similarly, SQL has many built-in capability to perform calculation on this data. So there is built-in capabilities in SQL to perform these routine tasks. Okay. So, so in this case Oracle has provided you, you know, some normal regular routines which you can use to perform calculations on data. So that is what is called SQL functions and why do we need to answer these questions. And if we do not have a built-in capability that can solve our question, then what we can do, we can write a function ourselves. That is called stored function. All right. so, so now as you know that, uh, you know, this is the SQL functions, why do we need? And let's now find out what are the types of SQL functions. Again, based on the functionalities, we group these SQL functions into different types. So let's basically discuss about types of SQL functions. Okay, the first one that we have is called single row function and the next one we have is called aggregate function the 
the next one we call it analytic function analytic function and next one is object reference function and the last one we call it model function okay so these are the five types of functions so let's decide you know why you call single row and all this thing right so in case of single row function we give one row or one data and we call this function whatever and then we get one output so one input one output so example in this case if I take this king and then what I do is I do lower king the answer will be in the, in the lower case all these all these things in king okay so the input is one output is one and this is the example it's lower and then some examples we are going to discuss when you are going to discuss in detail about single row function the aggregate function is that multiple input multiple input and then you have the functions and one output okay in case of analytic function something sim uh, an example of aggregate function if I want to find out what is the maximum of this data type of all this data so max of 5000 2850 25 all this thing is max is an example of aggregate function in case of analytic function we have multiple input and we have also multiple output okay so some of the example of analytic functions are range and oracle has a complete documentation on analytic function and say complete one one book for this reference material and this gives you a lot of strong capability to do some statistical analysis or some data warehousing queries so those things can be used in case of object reference function if you use object oriented programming of object oriented RDBMS then you can manipulate different types of data type object data type by using object reference functions example is last record last underscore record so let's say you get an VRA and you can manipulate the data structure you can navigate the data structure by using this kind of functions model functions is something similar to analytic functions and this is the higher capability for used for warehouse or mining uh, it is not really scope of this introductory SQL function chapter however if you're interested you can get it take a look from the Oracle SQL reference guide all right so now uh, now let's discuss like as we discuss about types of functions we have five type number one number two three and four and five for most of the practical cases we will find with if we understand the functions in one and two okay so therefore in going forward in this videos we are going to discuss mostly on these two types of functions all right so so this is what we have called single row functions and these single row functions of, are of multiple types depending on what kind of things you are doing if you are doing a character operation all right so if you are doing a character operation then we call that one is a single row character function if you are doing a number manipulation we use number function similarly for the date data type you know if you want to manipulate date we are going to have date functions and then there are a couple of general functions available general functions and then we have a something called conversion function so that we can convert from one data type to another data type okay 
the last one is uh, there is a built-in capability to work with large object and those are called large object functions okay so what essentially I'm saying character accepts one character input and gives a character output all right and then and, and another thing your character also can return a either a character uh, output or a number output we are going to give an example you know what is the example of character function uh, character functions and in case of numeric functions and number functions we are going to have one number input and number output in case of debt functions it will all that all the debt function will return a value of debt okay so all the debt functions will return value of debts and general functions something like nvl and null if all this thing a general function so conversion function we use to convert one data type to another data type say for example we have a character data type and we want to convert to a number by using two underscore number we can convert this function and large object as I told you these are going to use uh, for the large object manipulation for example empty empty underscore blob okay so this is what we are discussing we are discussing about uh, functions again functions are type types single row multi row model object data type functions object functions and analytic functions we decided that for this topic for this SQL reference we are going to discuss about single row and multi row and again single row functions are divided into five to six types so, sorry six types one is character function character function can take one character input and it can either return a number or a character output number functions are only going to take a number input and number output debt functions are to manipulate debt and general functions are like null, null if, nvl those kind of things conversion function is going to convert from one data type to another data type large object is to manipulate manipulate uh, large object is to manipulate the object uh, large object uh, functionalities okay so this is in next video we are going to discuss about in detail about character functions thank you